<laughs> Sensors don't always see us. <laughs> Appreciate it, boss. Thank you. Yeah, so I don't have any legitimate, you know, motorcycle specific way to carry shit. And I need to change that, especially since I'm going to be using this to uh, commute mainly to school and whatnot. You know, I'm going to need something or I don't have to wear a stupid ass backpack every day should I choose not to or whatever the case is you know but uh yeah 2,000 mile view I mean it was awesome to ride down to Virginia and honestly you know what even though you know the seat on a sport bike is nothing like the seat in a car I guess anticipation of being sore and uncomfortable you're constantly moving around on your bike to keep from getting sore and I guess in a car you just plant your ass and stay there so it felt like I had less soreness after being on this freaking thing for six hours than I do in my car. And I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Maybe I'm just retarded, or more so than I think. But a uh, 2,000 mile review, um, I fucking love this bike. Um, that being said, I fucking love the Honda Shadow that I had. Um, but this bike, is it, it's freaking awesome. I really do love it, and I do not re the, regret the decision I made whatsoever to uh, trade in my cruiser to get a sports bike. I'm very happy with it, even though it's a sport touring bike, because they see how high the bars are. They're not all, I'm going to all fucking leaned over in the fetal position. But a uh, 2,000 mile review, I've changed the oil a couple times. I did the break-in at five or 600 miles, and then I'd read reviews online of people having good results changing it again at 1,000. So I did, and it was actually really black. It's already really black now after only, you know, 1,100 miles. But uh, I'm guessing that's just the, the nature of the beast with a twin. You know, it is still just a parallel twin. But, uh, I mean, it's all good, you know. It don't bother me any. I'll just keep an eye on it. And uh, it's cost me, like, between 20 and 30 bucks for an oil change. Because I go with the, the first time I went with a partially synthetic, and from then on, I've gone full synthetic. I don't use my tool or anything. It's Mobile One Racing. So, fucking, that's two motorcycles that have been too good to wave at me, assholes. Anyways, um, so I've done that. Um, I'm fixing to put a, a better air filter. I'm gonna upgrade the air filter, put a better one in. For the first thousand miles, or for the first five or 600 miles, the service manual said not to go over 4,000. RPMs. My commute required me to go a little over, so I did the varying RPMs. And then for the other four or five, six hundred miles or whatever, until you hit a thousand miles, I wasn't supposed to go over six thousand RPMs, which I was able to do. So you know, it just feels different in the fact that uh, I went from not being able to hop on it to being able to fucking really get on it. And this thing will really fucking get on it if you want it to. I tell you that much is for damn sure. So. You know, it's, it's, it's a great bike. Um, coming from somebody who's just getting back into riding after a couple years, I wouldn't say it's not a beginner's bike, but I wouldn't say it's, you know, like they designed this for beginners by any means. But, uh, because it's, it's just got a shit ton of torque, you know, and sometimes bikes that have a shit ton of torque aren't necessarily good for beginners. Um, I think it depends a lot on your maturity level and all that other shit that you want to talk about when you're talking about getting a new bike, you know. But, uh, I mean, if you want something that's fairly fuel efficient, you know, I'm talking like Prius level gas mileage. Like, uh, when I was headed down to Virginia, um, I was probably going between 70 and 90 most of the way. Uh, speed limit 75 on a lot of the, 70 on a lot of the areas. And, you know, every now and then I'd have that car that wanted to whiz by me and honk and all that shit. So I'd play with them for a few minutes or whatnot. like such you know and uh, I mean I can honestly say 54 miles to the gallon is what it was saying I was getting I didn't do the calculations when I filled it up and all that shit but I know it's 289 miles to get from point A to point B when I go down there and I could have got away with uh, filling up a half a time or less but you know I didn't I filled up I went, drove about 100 miles and filled up and then drove about 85 more miles and then I filled up again just to be safe. And holy shit, you guys can't see this, but there are so many fucking bugs hitting me right now. It's stupid. 
That's fucking retarded, dude. I literally just had fucking 20 bugs land in my fucking face. I don't even know if the GoPro made it without that. It looks like it got hit too. Fucking crazy. And there's a sunset-ish. <laughs> my visor's got a thousand fucking bug splatters on it. Anyway, so to get back to the 2,000 mile reel, I'll cut a lot of that bullshit out, don't worry. Um, you know, like I said, Prius level gas mileage, but you know, it's a motorcycle and it hauls ass. Is it gonna go 150? No, it's not because it's a two cylinder. Um, will it go over 100? Fuck yeah, it'll go over 100. And does it go zero to 60 in like three and a half seconds? Fuck yeah, it does. You know, it hauls ass, a fucking motorcycle, right? You know, it goes faster than you legally will ever need to drive. More more than 99% of the places in the United States of America, so that's good. The windscreen is designed more for touring, you know. I have after 2,000 miles, now I have spent most of my time riding straight up and down, just like I am now. You know, I, I do have some turns, but, but typically my riding is done just like this. And uh, after 2,000 miles, the tire, the rear tire, and with the Dunlop Road Smart 2s, the rear tire is already, you know, showing that the fact that I only ride up, you know, straight up and down. So that kind of sucks because it's only 2,000 miles, but at the same time, you already know when you buy a motorcycle that you're not getting, you know, you're not going to get the same distance down to the tires that you are in a car. You know, they don't have 40,000 mile, mile warranties on motorcycle tires and shit. Um, 4.2 gallon gas tank, so um, if you drive nice the entire time you're riding, you could probably squeeze 170, 180, unless you rode slow and then you might be able to get more, but usually every time I fill it up, uh, when I start out it says 180 miles is what I can ride. Um, and I'd say that's pretty accurate because considering my trip down to Virginia and back was 289 miles and I only, only technically had to fill up once on the way there and once on the way back if I wanted to. Um, and like I said, it moves, you know. So, I mean, I don't know what more you could want out of a motorcycle. Um, it does have a nice, whatever you want to call it, your little tachometer and all that shit. Um, it's got a good round tack. Uh, analog, which is nice. Um, shows your uh, speed. Digitized. Digital. You got your little digital fuel gauge. You got your little digital odometer. You got your little digital clock. You got your fucking little eco thing, which whenever you're driving like a bitch, so to speak, or you're not getting aggressive, says, hey, you're getting better gas mileage, or hey, you're getting decent gas mileage. And then, see if I can do this without wrecking, if you cycle through it, you know, you got trip A, trip B, your miles per gallon, which I believe is current, 99, shit, I take that, son. And then you got your average, which, like I said, you know, driving around town and whatnot, of course, shifting, stop and go. And then you've got your range, which, with under half a tank, it says I still have 110 miles left. So, you know, do the math. If you drive like a bitch, you can go a long ways. If you don't drive like a bitch, you can't go a long ways. And then back to your odometer, which 2,083 miles. Um, would I buy it again? Yeah. Mine's the the matte black and, or matte metallic black and the burnt metallic orange. I think it looks pretty sweet. It doesn't match my gear at all, but I don't give a fuck. I mean, that's pretty much like all the fancy shit. You got, you know, standard mirrors. I put that fucking thing on there, which is really cool. You can turn it depending upon if you want to see more behind you. Like right down the freeway, I turn that motherfucker all the way to the side so I can see as far over there as possible, you know. But I mean, it's a good bike, dude. I like it a lot. Uh, I plan on many, 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 many more miles out of it, you know, as many as I can get anyway. I'm gonna head back this way, which is to the his house. Oh, don't do it. Um. I did get a little spot on my rear tire. I wasn't even going to ride today. I did get a little spot on my rear tire from leaving it parked like a dumbass and not moving it at all for a whole week. Um, it's not really a flat spot. It's just like where the gravel on the ground was gripping into the tire. I'm hoping a little ride will uh, remedy that. And You know, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Now, I put that little USB charger on there. I got the little ram mount thing right here. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it, y'all. Uh, 2,000 mile review, I think it's a good bike. Um, 
if you're mature, I mean, you wouldn't have any problem with it as a beginner bike. Um, it's substantially heavier than a beginner bike, as I know, like the little 250s and 300s, when it, you know, like the Hondas and the and the Kawasaki Ninja CBR 250, 300. I know those bikes are like 340, 350 pounds. This thing's like 460. So it's not an especially light bike. You know, right out of the gate. So that kind of, I mean, it, it, you don't feel it at all. I mean, it, of course, this is me coming from a fucking 560 pound cruiser. But I mean, it's light. You know, I don't have any problem keeping it up at lights or anything like that. I can flat foot it. It's got like a 31 and change in seat height. And I have no problem flat footing both feet. Well, okay, I won't say I have no problem flat footing both feet. Because I do. It's a little bit of a stretch. But, uh,. And the way the seat is, too, the way the seat is, is I can get close. You know, I could put my nuts up on the gas tank, so to speak, and grip down really low and get closer to the windscreen and everything. Or whenever I was heading down to Virginia, I can slide back to where my, the back of my ass, the furthest point back by my back of my ass, is uh, touching the, the passenger seat cowl. And, uh, you know, that part of the seat's substantially more cushioned. So it's comfortable for longer. I can't really say what I would change about it because I've never owned another motorcycle before, I don't think. You know, besides the Honda and going from a cruiser to a sport tour. You know, I can't really compare sport bikes or anything like that. Um, I know there's a lot of people say don't buy a brand new motorcycle for your first bike, but, you know, whatever. The amount of bugs I have on my face shield is appalling. Oh, I'm also recording in 1080p60. I think it's the first time I've done that. I usually don't. But I don't see why I would record in 108030 except to get better battery life, which I don't need better battery life because this is like a 20 minute ride. And then on top of that, I'm gonna edit it down to where it's like under a 10 minute video, you know. You know, um, see, I'm not bad about not having videos, guys. Uh, I just been busy as shit, uh, clearing the military, getting all my shit turned back in that I need to turn back in. And uh, I mean, I don't even know how to fucking prepare to be a civilian. It's been over a decade, so whatever. I'm getting ready to be in college full time, and that's like my only plan for right now. Um, you know, is to is to be a full time student. I'm gonna go do some uh, business administration shit, and I want to get some uh, photo and video editing shit, just so that I can do it, and possibly learn the software better. You know, maybe get some software through the school. That'd be kind of cool, right? I know usually when you buy a college book, they like distribute their own software that way. Ah, oh, so that'd be hot. It'd be hot to get some nice software for free, you know? And if not, that's cool. It'd be hot to learn how to use some software for free, legitimately, you know? What else are my plans for the future? I don't really know, to tell you the truth. Alongside of moving and going to college and being able to spend a shit ton more time with my family than I've been for the last 10 years, it's going to be nice. My kids are going to want to divorce me, you know? They're going to be like, what the fuck, Dad? Every time we come home and try to have a party, you're already here, Dad. We want a party. You need to leave. I'm going to be like, you have a party? Tell your mom. Does your mom know? Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's it, y'all. Um, oh, I haven't edited a video in a long-ass time. I really haven't. Oh, I did just put up a video today or last night. Uh, on my way to Virginia this last Friday night, I was in my Integra, and when I got on 64 East, dude, there was fucking so many cars in this wreck, it was stupid. It was retarded. That's like the only word for it. There's no other way to describe it besides the fact that it was fucking silly. There was like a dozen cars, maybe not quite a dozen, son of a bitch, a train, are you fucking kidding me? But yeah, there was a dozen cars in this fucking car wreck. I was like, sweet mother of God, and you know, what are people doing? I need to get rid of some of that throttle. Ah, is there really a bug inside my helmet? That is fucking not cool at all. 
And there are fucking bugs everywhere. Holy shit. So many cars in this wreck. Like you're driving and I seen this fucking SUV off in the middle of the nowhere, right? And I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Oh, he's not supposed to. He's not. He didn't mean to be there. Whatever, you know. And then uh, I drive more, and then there's a car ripped in half. So I started recording that shit with my cell phone, because I was like, holy fuck, man, this is stupid. There were so many cars and accidents on... It, 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 go watch my video, I'll put a link. <laughs> this shit was nuts, yo, it was nuts. God, they fucked these roads up so bad. Let's get all that shit. See so next Friday, I'm having my farewell lunch, or whatever, dinner. And that's going to be the place right there, baby. Right there. Golden Corral, motherfuckers. Uh, I don't know what time it's going to be at, but they'll tell me this week some point, I'm sure. Hopefully they do it at like 2 p.m. because I won't have shit to do all day after like 9. So hopefully they do it early enough to where all of my peers and not peers can uh, at least, you know, go home early and shit or not go back to work, I should say. So next Monday, not tomorrow, which I think is the 13th. Yeah, the 13th of April. But the following Monday, the 20th, I have to ride this fucking thing back to Virginia in the fucking rain. Because that's just the way life works for me. Because the weather says it's supposed to shit on me. And this will actually be my only mode of transportation come that exact moment in life for me. So that sucks. I mean, it's not that bad. And I do have, well, I don't have legitimate rain gear, but, like, this is outer proof, the outer proof shell is, uh, waterproof. It's got them, you know, reverse YKK zippers and all that bullshit. So it should keep me dry. Will it? No, because it's me. It had nothing to do with the gear, it's just because it's me. Seriously. Maybe I'll live. Get a little bit wet for five hours, no biggie, right? Fuck it.